Hi everyone, welcome back to the Barbudo Family Channel. Today we are in Los Angeles, it's Friday morning. We are at our Airbnb, check that out. We're in the, the hills, in the valley area, right by Studio City. We're thinking, what are we gonna do today? Go to the um, escape room. There's an activity here in Los Angeles called the escape game, where they put you in a room and you have you have one hour to figure out how to escape. You gotta go through all these clues and everything. That's what Leo wants to do. And then we have cousin Stella here. And Stephanie. Good morning. And then we have baby Vincent right there. It's Sophia, not a baby. And Jonathan. And Ravena back there. Ravena, what is it that you would like to do today? I'd like to go to Beverly Hills and have some really good sushi. Sushi in Beverly Hills, the escape game for Leo. Stephanie, what would you like to do today? We're thinking of going to Laguna Beach and check it out that neighborhood. Sophia, what about you? What do you want to do today? How about you, Jonathan? I want to go to the House of Wax. All right. Yeah, yeah, we, we did that. It's early. We got up really early because we're on East Coast time still. We got um, croissants and coffee. Tonight, for sure, we have a beautiful Italian dinner scheduled at a Sardinian restaurant. So we're looking forward to that. And then of course, we're gonna have a nice lunch at the sushi place and figure out what activities we're gonna do today. It's sometimes difficult to organize because we have different personalities and they want to do different things. So hopefully we can all stay together, have some fun today with, with our family. And this mess here, Jonathan, it's all me. I did all of this. I'm sorry. All right, we'll see you in a little while. Hey guys, okay, we are now in Beverly Hills. We just got to the escape game. The others were not up for the challenge. They went to Laguna Beach, but we are gonna use our heads to find the clues, to solve the problems and the puzzles. And he's gonna be thinking the most because he's a lawyer. Lawyers do a lot of thinking, but so, what, what are you gonna do the most? Oh, um, she, she's gonna just sit there like a chip. What? Mama is gonna escape the first one. Watch and see. You think you have the smarts to be able to figure out how to break out of this room? Yeah, of course. What about you, Vincent? You think you can do it? Yeah, I mean, he's going to kindergarten, I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> Why is it better to try to break out of the room as a team rather than just as an individual. How many minds are better? Is one mind better or is four minds better? Four. Why? It's teamwork and uh, yeah. they can solve it easily. We Not can easily. solve it easier. Well, this is my first experience. Mama's Mine first too. experience. Mom. What about you? I know it's Leo's. What about you, Vincent? Did you ever do a, an escape room before? Uh, yeah. You did? Did you escape? Okay, well then we're gonna follow Vincent's lead today. So we're driving on our way to Laguna Beach and we have all these little kitties sleeping back here. It's an hour and 20 minute ride. They couldn't handle the trip, they fell asleep. made it here to the escape game and the game that we're playing is we're going to be on a submarine and the submarine is going to be lost at sea and we have to find what you call a sea lab for hidden treasures for files that will help us get to different places and bring us back to safety there is a special button in there if we can't figure it out we can push the button and they'll give us clues but we don't need to push the clue button we might have to. Well, I don't think we have to because I think we can figure it out together. If we use teamwork, we put our minds together, I think we can figure it out. All right, you wanna give it a shot? Yeah. Yeah. You're a few things later. You're scared? No, it's fake. This is your game now. Vincent got scared and he didn't want to do this, so he left with Ravena. So me and Leia are gonna handle this all on our own. But I gotta say it's difficult because we don't even know what we're doing. Wait, there's another one. Have you tried oh. spinning the wheels? Oh wait, so these are these wheels. We found on the poster. Okay, all right. There's a clue. Okay, all right, we found something here. These are crewmate ID cards. Yes. If we put them in the crew check-in. There's a fluorescent light here. Now, let's see what sign it is. Okay. All the way at the bottom. Station five. Okay, so Station what we do then five. is we go here, and we put it right in there. 
Bam. Okay, we got two left. We got two left, and then something's gonna happen. This oh, this opened. Look at that. Another clue. What in the world are we gonna do with that? All right. Okay, everybody. The family separated today, and some of us are in Laguna Beach. Laguna Beach. Well, others stayed back and went to uh, an escape room. But I think we got the better deal today. What do you think? We figured out that there are these knots right here. There's four knots. Each knot has a number. So we figured out the four knots. And Leia was now putting those numbers into the locker combination. Okay. Whoa. There's another one of these. Okay, now we can complete this too with the other ones. All right. Look where we are. We're on the bottom of the sea. guy that was on the video. That Wait, weird. he has the flags on his top. Oh yeah. We gotta be able to do this. Oh, yes, we got it. Got it. We got, we got, it. It. got the key. Check that out. All right, here, take it, take it. Okay, so this guy here is wearing nautical flags. We had to get the nautical flag and identify them by letter. The letters stand for squid. So once we got squid, then we have to put it into the combination. How do you spell well, squid? S-Q-U-I-D. Got it. Wait, there's more. These ones match. Yes, we found the baby squid specimen. We put it right in there. We found the research. Now we're steering the submarine with these buttons here. We're trying to get out of here. Well, this way, this way. Look at that, we're going up. We're going up. This is not exactly what I had in mind, but I would call this a successful rescue mission. Yes! We did it. Where am I going to put it? Um, we're right. here for an hour. We made it, we made it to safety. I think we just saved the world. So we're here now in the heart of Beverly Hills on Cannon Drive, which is next to Rodeo Drive. And we're gonna have lunch at a place called Sugarfish. That's supposed to be one of the highest quality sushi restaurants in Los Angeles County. There's a little bit of a wait, but we'll see you in the restaurant. by my friend Alex. Now, we're going to meet Alex tonight. And in fact, tonight is the first time I'm meeting Alex in person. Alex is a friend of mine and we had to, uh, an interesting way of meeting. For those of you who haven't seen my Stokazzo video, which you can see in the link above, I did something where I taught people about this very famous Italian joke. If you get an Italian to say who, or key, which key means who in Italian, then you follow up with stoccazzo, and that's the joke, and it's very funny in Italian culture. So I was teaching Americans in this video, and one day when I went to work, I checked my voicemail, and there was some Italian guy named Alex saying, hey, this message is for Anthony, I'm an old friend of his, have him call me back. So I didn't even know I didn't recognize this guy's voice. I asked my wife, Ravenna, she said, have you ever heard of this guy before? She didn't know. So I called him back and he said, hey, Anthony, how are you? you? You remember me? And I said, no, who are you? And he said, Stokatsu. 
And that was the big thing. He explained that he watched my YouTube video the night prior. He was laughing. And he just had to take the opportunity to find me, to call me, contact me, and get me with Stoke Council. So that's how we met and we were we became friends after that. He lives out here in California, and so we're meeting for the first time tonight. This place he highly recommended. His friend owns it and he's arranged a live performance of a musician there tonight, so we're all looking forward to that. Are you guys excited? Dinner has started and then we have a live performance. Hey guys, we're back at the Airbnb. We're all exhausted, the children are asleep. We're just hanging out here talking with my lovely wife, Ravana, and then Stephanie and Jonathan right there. You guys are getting a little too close for the video. What's going on here? Get a room, guys. Tomorrow we have our last day here in Los Angeles before we get on a red-eye flight. It's the children's first domestic red-eye. So it'll be interesting to see how they handle it. I think they're gonna handle a lot better then I will, because I can't sleep on the flights. But uh, I'll do some vlogging, stay tuned, and thank you again for watching our videos. Our beautiful family, out.